Hi everyone. Um, if you're watching this, I am probably on my way to Florida right now because we're going to be celebrating the 4th of July with my in-laws. So I didn't want to leave you guys hanging. I wanted you guys to have another fun long weekend project. And this is going to be using 6x6 paper or you can do, use a 12x12. Now I am using double-sided paper in this, but this is a great way to get rid of any double-sided six by six or again 12 by 12s so i'm only going to actually be using three um six by six papers today um if you cut it out 12 by 12 it'll basically be four six by sixes and you would you would have an extra piece so um it just depends what you kind of have on hand so just know today i'm going to be using three six by sixes okay so let me show you this album so i was trying to think of another way that we could use um this without measuring without scoring something easy and you could even implement what we did in the previous album um, so this album is gonna be fun and so easy so we're gonna have our little pocket here I believe we have five so one two we've got one up here three and then four and five. Oh, sorry here <laughs> It's, it's hard to see because of what I did with the papers, but once you see what's going on, you'll be like, oh wow, that's so easy. Um, so this is such a fun album and I had fun making this too. So, okay, what we're gonna do is grab your three six by six papers, okay? And I'm going to, let's first, let's just do our super easy cover, okay? This is all gonna be really easy, but this is the easiest part. So I'm going to take just my six by six and fold in half, just like we did in the previous video, which you guys seem to love. And actually I have a lot of new um, subscribers, so welcome everyone. Um, but they seem to somehow really get that video. So, all right, so this is gonna be our cover. And again, if you're doing any inking or any of that, go ahead and just do it now. I did actually have a couple examples of this and I'll show you because this is going to be more vintage ish, you know, but, um, I, I want to show you how I did it with like lighter papers, which I did show some of it. And, um, in my in love art shop video before this, but not everyone looks at those type of videos. So, all right, so here's our cover. Okay, now let's go ahead and do this little front section right here, okay? So, I don't know if you guys can see what I did, but basically, I'm going to fold it in half again, okay? And then we're gonna fold it this way. Now, when you guys see what I'm doing, you'll be like, oh yeah, okay, I see what happened here. All right, so you should have four simple little squares all right next we're going to cut into it so i'm going to cut this side here on the left okay it's kind of an i mean if you have double sided paper you can always turn it around but um i don't want to confuse anyone so that's why i want to be really specific about where i'm cutting mine all right so let me cut onto this line here and really make sure you cut right into that line because I'll tell you what, I've definitely torn my paper and not cutting it the right way. All right, so we've got that right. So this is super simple. We're just going to fold this over, okay? And this is actually going to create our two pockets. So we're gonna have a pocket right here and we're gonna have a pocket right up here. Now, of course, you can always flip it around and do it that way or whatever way you want, but this is how mine is gonna be in the album and I'm gonna put the pockets on top. Um, you can put it on the side too if you want, it's really just preference. And then we are going to need to glue that or sew it, tape it. Let me just get this glue going. Okay, so I'm just going to glue this little pocket here. And because this pocket is so slim you really want to make sure that you get um hold on let me unclog this you really want to make sure you get to the very edge because this will fit um 
I mean, it will fit tags and like, it will even fit tea. I'll show you guys that it fits. So I'm doing this kind of sloppy, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and glue that, okay? And then we are going to glue this on over here, okay? But you see how that's hanging? That's why I actually have the other piece to attach to it. So first let's glue this little pocket on. And I'll show you a few options with this. So if you don't want like tiny little itty bitty pockets, oops, and don't forget to leave that top open because again, it is a pocket. Okay, so that's hanging on, but it will stop because now we're gonna do the other side, which is gonna be the back. And the back is pretty much the same thing, except we're cutting it just a different direction. So again, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna fold it directly in half. Actually, I'm going to um, fold it in half and then fold it again this way. So you have four boxes again. Okay, so it looks like that. Now remember how this page we cut this way? I'm, and again, if you have double sided, you can always flip it, but this is to not confuse it. So before we cut on left, now I'm gonna cut it on the right. I think that's a more easier way to explain it. But if you mess up, you can always just flip your paper over. Okay, and can you guys see how I did this one? So this one, I'm folding this way, and then this is gonna be our pocket. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut a little notch here and a little notch up here. And again, if you're distressing your paper, any of that, do it before you glue it on. So now we're going to, okay, so now we have the option to make this middle side a pocket. So we're not gonna glue this on all the way. We're going to, um, you know, make it just glue the sides here. So we have this middle pocket. Now, before I do, you do that, make a little notch so you know that there's like a little pocket there. All right, so let me glue this on here and then we'll do the other pockets. And after this, I will show you the other variations. I just didn't want to confuse anyone while I was doing this. So you have one nice big pocket in there. Okay, so now after we, after we um, glue this down, it's not gonna pull up anymore. So don't think you're doing anything wrong. It's literally gonna be like that until we just glue everything down. So let me glue this pocket down first. And then I'm just gonna, and if you want, I was gonna say you could always, um, if you don't mind it hanging, you could have like little flaps and things like that. So I'm gonna glue that down here. Right over here. Make sure it closes okay too. So how simple was that? Now we have all these, ooh, hold on, this is not on all the way. So it's gonna come up on me. Got to make sure this is on or else it's going to come up. So here we go. We have our little pockets. And I got to wait for that to dry or if it's going to lift. Do I have enough glue on there? I don't think I do. Hold on. And I'm going to trim this because I accidentally put that up too high, which I didn't do in my other albums. Okay, so there is that. And let me show you, oh my goodness, hold on, I didn't glue this on, guys. Let me glue this on better. I don't think I put any glue on there. I must have just did the L. Sorry about that, but I definitely want that to stay down. So anyone have any plans for the fourth? We will probably be at the beach. Um, I imagine with the other million people. 
and um, I don't know, probably just, you know, have a little wholesome barbecue, I don't know. Okay, so there is that. Okay, so how simple is that? Okay, and I'll show you all my little touches that I add, but I wanna show you something real quick. So this one that I had showed in my other video for my the In Love Art Shop, just some things I did. So here I had just kind of done what we did in the previous video, just make a little, uh, I just put like a little pocket in. Actually, I did do mine different. Um, but I ended up making this a pocket and using it just on this page. So I used both those methods, but into this album. Does that make sense? Um, so if you don't want a bunch of little pockets, then add just the page just like this. It doesn't, you just fold the six by six and a half and add that in the front instead of doing this twice. I hope that clarified. <laughs> All right, now let's decorate this and make it pretty and come to life. So over here was just really simple what I had done and many of you asked me for the name of the uh, these pads and I linked it in a comment I'm gonna try and get link that again because these don't really so here if this helps actually actually I think people were asking for the number so these are just the pads that I'm using um, if and I must have tore this one off <laughs> but if you want the number there it is so I'm just gonna go in here and really just add to it. So for this, because the pockets are so slim, I didn't even fold it halfway. I just kind of folded it like this and just added it in here just to add some pretties in there. And I wanna show you that if you're doing like a T-swap or something, you know, this will fit absolutely perfect because it's like almost like a, it's basically three inches. And here's a little tag. And then I cut this little two and a half by two and a half inch papers out just to decorate over here. So you can add a little picture here or you can add a die. It doesn't have to be a photo or stickers, but I'm just gonna add this. And I am gonna just distress it just a little bit just to take off some of the sharp edges here. But I'm having fun and you can do this with a 12 by 12 too. So you don't even have to cut your 12 by 12 paper down. You can make this a really big one the same way, eight by eight, you know, anything, any size, you can just do this nine by nine, whatever you want. All right, and then we have another little pocket up here. Um, I'm wondering if this will fit. I'm gonna just dress it again real quick, just with what I have. I actually prefer the ink a little faded out because it gets so dark. And you can just put that on the top. And here. This is just a pretty little index card again that I made in the side. This is actually some of this paper wrapped with washi tape. And this is one of my In Love Art Shop dies. And I thought I, oh, here it is. So I'm, I just, dis, I already um, distressed it just a little bit. And I'm just gonna glue it on. And if you don't have this die, just round some paper off and make a little punch. But I do like the stitching on it. So. I'm just gonna put that down there just to change it up. You know what I mean? And then I had these little tickets, so I'm just gonna add, so maybe whoever you're swapping with, they have these adorable tickets that I have from the um, my dye haul the other day that I used. And I'm just gonna add some of this from my old haul to the washi shop, okay? So there's one page and I'm loving how that looks. Hold on, let me uh, fix this just a bit. And then the next page here, basically I just did the same thing. Um, I think I'm just gonna borrow this. I'm gonna borrow some of these. And I wanna show you one more trick that I did. So 
like if you're not covering this and I don't know maybe you do want to leave it and there's not like a harsh line there when I had started this I actually wasn't sure what I was gonna do and I had actually added a glitter strip to it so I feel like that really kind of hid the fact that this was glued on here but then I ended up doing that and just covering it so if you want something whimsical you can do this if you want something more vintage look you can do that all right so the vellum i'm going to be using is just a two and a half by three and a quarter inch paper and i did distress that just a little bit and i'm just going to add you can add tape or glue just so I don't mess it up here. And I'm gonna add that right there. And I'm just putting the lightest touch right here. Not too heavy, because it's a pretty light, dainty little paper. And just add it kind of right on there. And then that kind of breaks it up too. You don't notice that line there. And you could just add a die on there or just whatever. I just cut this out. I, don't, I wasn't sure how it was gonna look because it's kind of busy, but Let's see how it looks. I like this because it had the writing, but um, honestly, I don't even want that on there. Maybe I'll just leave that. And here I just added some washi tape. So here's my washi tape and I just cut out a strip before I got on. So I'm gonna put that on there. So if you got washi tape, decorate this with washi too. Just take a tag and add that on the top. Hmm, I do feel like I need something there though. But I didn't cut anything. Oh, maybe I'll put one of these stickers on. Some the washi. And add that on there. And I will also add some lettering. somewhere I did. I did one right over here too. So I think that's it. I wouldn't mind something here because this one I feel like was more filled but I don't really have anything on my desk right now to fill it. These little tags that I got too would be actually really cute in there. These ones but I don't think this matches the color so I'll just wait on that. But here is the paper, and as I said, you can make this any size you want. You can make this bigger if you want bigger pockets. So use a 12 by 12, do the same thing. Just fold it, fold it, and do the same exact technique. Um, but it came out just so sweet, and what a cute way to send some flat mail or, you know, stuff it. It's kind of tight, so I would say this is definitely a flat, fat, ugh flat mail project. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I really had a lot of fun creating this. These six by sixes are just like, I don't know, so much fun to work with. All right, I hope you have a lovely, lovely holiday weekend to those who are celebrating in the States and to those who are not, I still hope you have a lovely weekend. All right, everyone, thank you so much.